affected by U.S. sanctions, Huawei's chip supply has become a major problem at present. Huawei has been working so hard to develop the latest chips to overcome the current predicament, but it is clear that Huawei still has a certain gap in this regard. Since current silicon chips are already in 2 nanometers process and are about to reach the limits of Moore's law, it's hard to go further, which means that on silicon chips, TSMC and other manufacturers are nearing the end. However, the performance of 90 nanometer carbon based chips is equivalent to 28 nanometer silicon based chips, and the 60 nanometer carbon based chips are equivalent to 10 nanometer silicon based chips. Obviously, carbon based chips have become the best choice for Huawei. Therefore, China took the lead in taking the first step and it may help Huawei get back to the top. Recently, the research team of Peking University was the first to discover the fabrication of 5 nanometer transistor devices, and was the first to truly realize a carbon based chip circuit, whose performance exceeded that of a silicon based chip of the same specification. China's Peking University team in China has been studying for more than 20 years, and it is at the world's leading level in terms of carbon based materials, technology, and performance. Then, how advanced is China's carbon based chip? What are the advantages of developing carbon based chips in China? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The chips we are talking about now are actually all silicon based chips. Now the silicon-based chip 5 nanometers has achieved mass production, 3 nanometers technology has made a breakthrough, and mass production is expected in the second half of this year. Next, the impact will be launched to 2 nanometers and 1 nanometer. But this is close to the physical limits of silicon-based chips, and the cost is already quite high, so the next generation of more suitable alternatives must be found. At this time, carbon-based chips came into being. In fact, the development of carbon-based chips has been proposed in the last century, and it has always been announced that it will replace silicon-based chips after application. However, because carbon is too active and has a low dielectric constant, the idea of using carbon-based chips to replace silicon-based chips has not been implemented. In the earliest days, diamonds were doped with impurities to make transistors, an operation that could achieve superior performance over silicon semiconductors. But there is an inevitable problem that the production cost of diamond is high, and it is almost impossible to achieve mass production, so this idea has not been realized. Later, single-layer graphene and single-layer carbon nanotubes were produced. Compared with diamond, this material is not only lower in cost, but also has good electrical conductivity and is a conductive material. In addition to the excellent electrical conductivity, carbon nanotubes have two bright spots. The first is its high material strength. The material strength of carbon nanotubes is very high, even stronger than steel, and the flexibility of this material is also very good, suitable for flexible folding. Secondly, the material diameter is small. The diameter of carbon nanotubes is only 1 to 3 nanometers, which is especially suitable for small sized transistors. It can be made into a three dimensional control structure and is also conducive to circuit control. What's more, in terms of performance and power consumption, carbon based chips are most likely to become one of the disruptive technologies for integrated circuits in the post Moore era. Tests have shown that carbon-based chips is 1,000 times better than silicon-based chips in the performance and power consumption. Although China has invested a lot of energy in chip research and development over the past years. But because there has never been a breakthrough in some core technologies, so China's chip research and development is still facing a lot of difficulties. Although China has been fully localized in some low-end chips, but for high-end chips, especially those above 7 nanometers, still completely dependent on imports. Even if companies like Huawei have the ability to design a 7 nanometers or even 5 nanometers chip, however, if they want to transform this design into a real visible chip, they have to entrust to TSMC for production. 
Since the harsh international environment, what progress has been made in China's carbon-based chips? May 26, 2020, a team of carbon-based nanotube chip developers, consisting of academicians Peng Lianmao and Professor Zhang Jiong of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has achieved significant research results in the field of new carbon-based semiconductors. Their paper named High Density Semiconductor Carbon Nanotube Parallel Arrays for High Performance Electronics was published in Science on May 22, 2020. This means that after over 20 years of road time, China has not only broken through the barricade of carbon based semiconductor manufacturing equipment, but also achieved the global leadership in carbon based nanotube transistor chip manufacturing technology. According to Professor Peng, carbon-based chips with the same grid length consume at least three times less power than silicon-based semiconductors, and run three times faster. Besides, chips made of carbon tubes are expected to be used in cell phones and weapons for base stations. What's more, in January 2017, Professor Peng led a team to develop the world's smallest high-performance transistor to date, with comprehensive performance 10 times ahead of the best current silicon-based transistors approaching the theoretical limit. Its operating speed is three times faster than Intel's state-of-the-art 14 in U.S. commercial silicon transistors, but energy consumption is only one quarter of that of silicon transistors and the related results were published in Science. This means that, if the future carbon-based chip tube can be industrialized, it will allow China to get rid of the dependence on Western silicon-based chips. According to the carbon-based machine chip performance is three times that of silicon-based chips, we can calculate that producing a 5 nanometers chip only need to have 14 nanometers lithography, so that ASML or TSMC cannot contain China anymore. Since entering the information age, China's level of science and technology has been rapidly improved in various fields, and the gap between certain developed countries is getting smaller and smaller. Last but not least, China has three-quarters of the world's graphite deposits and 72% of the world's total production, in this case, China could take the lead in the global semiconductor industry. Graphite chip technology is promising, but it has not been commercialized yet, and we believe that China will stand out in the competition with other countries in the future. All in all, the advantages of graphene carbon-based chips are obvious, and they are totally worth the R&D and investment. Another reason is that the equipment used to produce carbon-based chips is completely different from the equipment used for silicon-based chips. If carbon-based chips can be formally commercialized, then Huawei can completely get rid of outside influence on technology and equipment. Not only can it be completely independent, but it can also be used on the most cutting-edge technology products. This is indeed very exciting news, I am very happy that China has so many advantages in this field. However, the commercialization of carbon-based chips is a long and difficult road, and it is still unknown who will be the final champion. So, who do you think is the final winner in this competition? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.